Uh, good day, cellmates. I have two videos, so there'll be another one that follows this one of a dip I did that turned into a bit of a disaster, but I did manage to save it. So if you wait till after this video is finished, you'll see my second one. So it does show the good with the bad. Um, this was canvas that I, you know, scraped off, and I'm going to start again. What I'm doing today is with the Montmartre pre-made pouring paints. Um, these lovely little um, gems that I've been having some fun with. So I'll just let you know the colours as I go. And I'm going to do just a little dip. A little dip, she says. So I'll let you know with the colours, which is... I'll start with the light purple. And I'm going to... Um, yeah, do a dip so it's just basically starting on one canvas. I hope this works because I've just scraped off these canvases and I'm going to pour straight from the um, bottle. Oh, and that's why you get then this uncontrolled, but that's all right. It's fluid painting, so we're allowed to um, experiment. So that one is the lovely, yeah, light purple going to go for the dark purple always give them a good shake and I've forgotten to put my gloves on but hopefully I won't get my hands too much in this today because they are highly pigmented paint so uh, if you get them on your fingers they really do stay there <laughs> so I might have to put my gloves on oh okay always give the bottles a really good shake of these so that's the purple. I'm gonna go in for the lovely dusty pink. Start up here with just a seem to have success when I do this uh, like V shape on them. Chevron pattern, what I call it. And they're nice and simple. They're good to do uh, with children and for beginners and they have a really nice effect. So it's all good. That was the dusty pink. I'm gonna put a bit of white in there. Of course, I've got to jazz it up a bit somewhere, haven't I? Because it won't look like one of mine. <laughs> so yet, if you wanna watch the second dip I did with a mixture of um, acrylics and these uh, pouring paints. I did have to save it with some balloon embellishment, which is a good way to show you how to save instead of scraping it or throwing it away. Don't ever do that. We, we certainly scrape it, but don't throw it away because you can always reuse that canvas. You just scrape, it's just paint, isn't it? Just scrape the paint off it, save the canvas. Okay, this one is the Phthalo turquoise, turquoise. So I've got quite a lot of colours going on in here. Okay, puppies, all excited. Just want something else in there and I'll go this lovely light aquamarine these are all kind of nice beachy vibe colors nice to do um, a dip like this in and do th four of them or something for a nice uh, effect that you can hang them together great for gifts certainly great for gifts Christmas coming up you don't have to bust the bank if you do these nice little artworks okay I'm gonna just drizzle where is she gone didn't know whether I want to put any black into that to give it a bit of oomph might just had this nice cerulean blue which actually I'm gonna keep the lid on and just give it reverse chevrons Okay, leave it, leave it, leave it, okay. 
Now all I do is I will just turn this canvas over on top of it. See the mess I've made, but I just wanted to save the canvases to um, give it another go. So there will be another video on after this to show you the mess that I did make, but I did a save. Just pressing down lightly. See, normally if this was for a gift or to sell, you would definitely tape the back so you've got a nice clean back of the canvas. It's not messed up like I've done here, but this is for demonstration purposes. Husband walking through and smiling at me. Okay. Okay, it's just hopefully that it's stuck to the underside of that, the colours. I'll just move it over. I'm not having a real good successful day today, but thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for support. Oh, that one's nice straight away, not so nice. See straight away I want to get my little water balloon filled with water and dip it in the part there. Doesn't need much, just in the oh you know that's not too shabby at all. That's beautiful colours, that is so nice. Oh, look at those colours. Oh, I'll just give it a little quick wave with the butane torch. I don't want, oops, I don't want too many cells to pop up, but I'll separate it. Those colours are just gorgeous. They're really lovely, really beautiful. So just put all my little stash of my pre-made pouring paints. If you're in the US, there is, uh, they're available on Amazon. Um, and if you're in Australia, then I've got a link in the drop down box to an Australian online supplier. So, and you can just click straight through to the link and look at that. They are really pretty, actually. That one more so, not so much that one, but. That might um, find its own way, but that is gorgeous. Look at that. That one's beautiful, the colours. Just the few cells that are coming up. That's really gorgeous. So I want you to stay right there and watch the next video, please. And um, please let me know what you think of these dips. If you had a go at them, tell me how you went. If you want to... Um, post any photos of your work to me you can join me on my acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page and there you will uh, be able to show me any of your work and uh, keep up to date with what we're all doing on there so look at that that's gorgeous actually that's really lovely colors are just beautiful so nice Thank you all for watching. Thanks so much for subscribing. I really appreciate uh, you all and the beautiful comments that I get from 99.9% .9 of people. Um, so until next time, see you then. Good day guys. Today I'm gonna do you a nice, quick and easy um, dip, a dip painting, my style. So that, oh, put my hand through my gloves. These are all in the Montmartre, uh, Montmartre, these are in the Montmartre, um, ah, acrylics. They are the Montmartre acrylics that I'm going to use today. I think the last one I did with the dips was the, uh, Montmartre post paints, which are great to do. Uh, but this one today is going to be uh, leftover paints again. So this has kind of turned out, was dark brown and I've sent it even darker. So I'm gonna do the normal kind of thing that I like to do because I found this comes out the most 
effective. So I'm only working with one canvas here, so start again. Doesn't have to be any nice neat lines or anything as such. It's just a nice V. So this particular paint was mixed with um, the 70% uh, Elmer's glue and 30% water. I have my recipe in the drop down box if you click underneath the video. So, and this, actually I have got a mixed, this bit of paint here was from the Montmartre um, pre-made pouring. So I am doing a mix and match of some leftovers that I have. So in this one, I don't, I think I did add a little bit of, um, of the of the my pouring medium just to make up the amounts in it so that was that one Not gonna, and, then, and then this one definitely was the Montmartre turquoise which is one of my favorites in the Montmartre and the Montmartre paints are available worldwide so somebody on my Jan Trent on my Acrylic Art by Julie Cube has put a link to the American um, supplier, which is Amazon, to the Montmartre paints. And in Australia, I have a link in the drop-down box to an Australian online supplier who I get my most of my stuff from, um, which I do recommend because they're very prompt, they're really reasonable priced, and they're a family owned business so I always want to support that so I've got lots of colors going on here okay that was just white and then I've just got this bright yellow um, to go in here lift it all up make sure I put some everywhere so hopefully this is going to be a quick video for you and it's going to be one that's easy for anybody to do and it's easy for you to do with your children and you can do this particular technique with pre-made pouring paint you can do it with the acrylic and pouring medium and you can do it with the poster paint so it's very versatile so I'm just going to do some opposite lines okie dokie and a bit of this dark navy just swirled in it so loads of paint on there, way too much. I probably could dip a few of these. I'm gonna just tilt it around to cover the canvas a bit. I'm just gonna try and make sure all the holes are covered. So when I dip, there's no holes left, but there's probably loads of paint on there anyway, so. Well, it's Saturday afternoon here in uh, Queensland, Australia, and it's been an absolute, like, so windy, like it's blown all the chairs off the back verandas, it's blown big um, branches off trees, so we're not having a real, even though it's quite warm, um, it's, yeah, very windy. Okay, so what you're doing with that and what I haven't done, which is I normally do, is tape the back of my canvas. And certainly if you were going to give it as a gift or sell it, you would definitely tape the back to leave a nice clean back of the canvas. But as this is just a little canvas for demonstration purposes, I just like to press down a little bit. So you're making sure the paint's... Uh, covering the second canvas. If there is holes, don't worry, you can double dip it. I have done that before. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but you can patch it up because the worst thing comes to the worst, you just put a balloon on, the, on it. Okay, so I'll put in my finger on the bottom now and just lift in, I'll lift over this way. Okay, that didn't turn out very nice. What's going on there? I wonder if it's because I've mixed the two. That didn't look real crash hot, does it? Yuck, maybe I'll go back again. 
Maybe I'll turn it and I'll really mix it up. Okay, I'll oh, just give it a try. I don't, I think that maybe because I've mixed the pre-made pouring paints with the ordinary acrylics, they seem to not gel so well together by the look of it there. But um, we will see. No, it's one big blob of a mess. <laughs> well, yeah, you get the failures with the... Um... Okay, what I'll do is this, is I'll run some paint off it. Never fear. Still work with it. I'll run some paint off this one. That's the breeze, it's blowing even the bins. Got really, really windy, windy. So that looks one heck of a mess. I'm not gonna touch this one just yet because I might just add a bit of the balloon in it or something. It's sort of not so bad as the other one. That's one heck of a mess. So I'm going to try to swipe with white and see what we can bring up in here. I'll swipe it down with white from the top. I will use my plastic file divider. So if you get a pour that looks like a disaster, just work with it. And if you just can't save it, then just scrape the paint off and start again. It's just paint, not no big disaster. Don't throw it away, just scrape your paint off, clean, wipe your canvas down. You can even uh, wash your canvas under water, won't harm it. Let's see what happens with this. Just gonna put the butane torch on it, see if I can save this whatsoever. Not liking it, not particularly. That one doesn't look too bad, but I certainly wouldn't keep that. Um, I just try the balloon in it. I'll try the water balloon, the one that I, this little balloon that I've had filled with water for quite a number of weeks. So I'll see if that, no, it's just going muddy. So it's just muddying the paints not actually doing anything nice to it. No. Well, I can truly say that was not a good pour. Not a good uh, outcome. Okay, that's not nice. Um, but I just want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still post this because I wanna show you that I have just as many failures um, as you guys say you do So this could be saved this one with the balloon because it is looking a little nicer with the balloon Oh Yeah Yes, that's quite pretty Probably don't want to go overboard with it but That's not too bad at all it wasn't certainly not one of my best but I just let's say I am going to post it because I want to show you definitely that you are try and get yourself out of trouble and if you can't then the next thing would be to scrape it um, or yeah just start again see that's that's gone my day don't like that at all but I'm not too worried. That one doesn't look too bad at all. The white cells have formed nicely. That one I would probably leave, but I will probably scrape the second one. So, a quick little Saturday afternoon disaster for you, but there you go. I've got to show you the good with the bad. Yeah, okay. It was only 10 minute long, so thank you so much for subscribing. I hope this isn't the first time you've watched my channel because this is along with one of the worst I've done. 
but I want to show you that if you fail, you just keep trying to save it. And if you can't, scrape the canvas and start again. Thanks for subscribing until next time. But look out for all my other videos on the channel, on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much.